Hello students, let's do profit, loss and discount exercise 10C. This is on page number 126. Question 7. A dealer buys a TV set for 2500 rupees. He marks it at 3200 rupees and then gives a discount of 10% on it. Now we have to find the answer to two questions. So buys means that is the cost price. Marks it means marked price. So what's the meaning of a marked price? That is the price that is put on the label initially and then the seller decides whether to give a discount or not and then finally we get the selling price. So here we have the cost price, we have the marked price and we have the discount. Now we have to find first the selling price of the TV set. Secondly, the profit percent made by the dealer. So let's begin by saying Cost price of a TV set given to us. The marked price of a TV set is also given to us. Now we have to find the discount which is 10% of the marked price. Discount is 10% of rupees 3200. So let's find out what the discount is. 10% means 10 by 100 offers into 3200. Now we can cancel. So let's cancel one zero here and one zero here. We can also cancel a 0 here and 0 here. So what is left is only 320. That means we have found the discount to be 320 rupees. Now with the help of discount, we can find the selling price. So selling price of the TV set, the formula is marked price minus discount. And what is the marked price? 3200 rupees. From this, we're going to minus the discount, which is 320 rupees. So let's do that subtraction. 3200 minus 320. So here we have 0. Now borrow. 10 minus 2 is 8. Again borrow. 11 minus 3 is also 8. And then we have 2. So now we have the selling price of the TV set, which is rupees 2880. So this is the answer to the first question where we've been asked to find the selling price which is 2880 rupees. The next thing we have to find is the profit percent made by the dealer. So let's do that. The profit percent made by the dealer. To find the profit percent, first we have to find the profit. And profit is selling price minus cost price. And selling price which is found out now is to is 2880 rupees minus cost price is already given to us in the question 2500 rupees so let's minus these two 2880 minus 2500 so that is 0 8 8 minus 5 is 3 so 380 rupees is the profit now we can find the profit percent by using the formula profit divided by cost price into 100%. So profit is 380 divided by the cost price which is 2500 into 100%. So here we'll cancel one zero here and a zero here, one zero here and a zero there. Now don't forget to put the percentage sign. Okay, now what else can be cancelled? We can cancel 25 and 10 by 5. So 5 fives are 25 and 5 twos are 10. Now there's nothing else to be cancelled. So let's multiply 38 into 2. 38 into 2 is 76. And in the denominator we have 5. Now let's convert this. So this will be 76 divided by 5. So 5 ones are 5 minus 26. 5 threes are 15. But we can go up to 5. 5 fives are 25. Minus 6 minus 5 is 1. Now if you're going to leave this as a mixed number, then we can write 15. 1 by 5%. Now if you're going to continue with our division and get a decimal number, let's put a point here. Put a point there. Put a 0. Bring that 0 down. And continue our division. Now the number is 10. 5 twos are 10. Now our remainder is 0. So here our answer will be 15.2%. So if you want to have your answer as a mixed number, you write 15, 1 by 5%. If it's a decimal answer, 15.2%. So we have found our profit percent. Question 8. 
A sells his goods at 15% discount. Find the price of an article which is sold for 680 rupees. So we have the discount percent. Sold means selling price also we have. Now they're asking us to find the price of the article. That means what was the initial price or what was the marked price of the article. Let's begin by writing the selling price of an article. This is given to us. The let the uh, mar marked price of the article be X. We can consider the marked price of the article to be X or you can even take it as 100. So here discount is 15% of the marked price which is X. That is 15 by 100 into X. So this is 15X by 100. So this is the discount. Now to find the selling price we have to write Selling price equals marked price minus discount. Now we can use this formula to find the marked price. So selling price is already given to us. It is 680 rupees and the marked price we said we will consider it to be X minus the discount we found it to be 15X by 100. So now let's solve this. Let's simplify this and see what we get. So here on the left hand side we have 680 rupees which is the selling price. On the right hand side we have this which we are going to simplify now the LCM is 100 so multiply this also by 100 and the numerator also by 100 so this is x into 100 is 100 x minus now on the other side we have 100 into 1 so this is 15 x into 1 so this is 15 x so here we have 100 x minus 15 x 100 minus 15 is 85 so this is 85 x by 100 and what does this mean it means that 680 rupees is equal to 85 x by 100 now let's find out the value of x so we're going to leave x on the left hand side this is an equation we're going to keep x on the left hand side along with 85 on the right hand side we have 680 we're going to transpose this 100 to the other side so since it's division here when it goes to the other side, it becomes multiplication into 100. Now to find the value of x, we say 680 into 100 divided by 85. So now when we divide by 85, you can cancel this by 5. This is 17 and this is 20. Now we have to cancel further. 17 ones are 17. Now 17 into 4 is 68. So that's 40. Now multiply 40 into 20. 4 twos are 8 and add the two zeros. So that's 800. So what have we found? We have found the marked price. X is the marked price, isn't it? X is the marked price and we have found the marked price to be 800 rupees. In the beginning, we said let the marked price of the article be X. So we, that is how we got the marked price. X is equal to 800 rupees. Now the same question can be worked out in another way. So let's write down the selling price of the article, the discount percent. Now there is another formula which helps us find the marked price directly. And the formula is marked price is selling price divided by 100% minus discount percent. This I gave you at the beginning of this exercise, this formula. Now if you are using this formula in school, then you can work out this way. So marked price is selling price which is already given to us divided by 100% minus discount percent which is also given to us. So let's work out this way and see. Selling price is 680 rupees divided by 100% minus the discount percent which is 15%. So this is 680 divided by 100 minus 15 is 85%. So this will be 680 divided by 85 by 100. And this will be 680. Division changes to multiplication. Now write the reciprocal 100 by 85. Now cancel. So this is by 5. This is 17. Again by 5, 20. 17 ones are 17. 17 fours and 0, 40. Now multiply 40 into 2. 20 is 800. 
So we have found the marked price to be 800 rupees. This is by using a formula for marked price. So to find the marked price directly, you can use this formula also if you have been taught this already in school. Question 9. A shopkeeper allows 20% discount on the marked price of his articles. Find the marked price of an article which he charges 560 rupees. So we have the discount person. We have the selling price. We are asked to find the marked price. So we can start by saying consider the marked price to be X. That means discount on the marked price will be 20% of X which is 20 by 100 offers into into x now you can do it directly 20 into x or you can cancel and make it simpler so this is 20 x by 100 okay so now we have the discount on the mp we have the discount now selling price is given to us already and that is 560 rupees from this we can find the marked price marked price is x and the discount is 20 x by 100 so let's simplify this. So this will be on the left hand side we continue to have 560 rupees. So let's write that 560 rupees. Now here we are going to simplify by giving this the denominator 1. So here this is going to be 100. So first one 1 into 100. So x into 100. So that will be 100x. So 100x minus 20x. So 560 rupees is equal to 100x minus 20x is 80x by 100. Now to find the value of 80x, we are going to leave 80x. We are going to keep it on the left hand side and on the right we have 560. I am going to move this 100 to the other side. It's division. So when it moves it becomes multiplication. So that is 100. Now to find the value of only x, we say 560 into 100 divided by 80. Remember, this is equation. So cancel. Now 8 into 7 is 56. Now multiply the numerators. 7 into 100 is 700. So we have found x to be 700. That means the marked price. We said let marked price be x. So marked price is 700 rupees. So this is one way of finding out the marked price where we use the formula to find selling price and then found the marked price. Now there is another method where you can find the marked price directly. Let's try that also. So selling price formula was used this time to find the marked price. Now let's so we're going to do the same question where we're going to use marked price formula directly in this question. So selling price of the article is given to us. Discount is given to us. Let's use the formula marked price is equal to selling price divided by 100% minus discount person. This is another method of finding marked price directly this time. So selling price is 560 rupees. This is divided by 100% minus discount person which is 20%. This is an easier way of doing it but if you are not taught this formula then don't do this. So this method is if you are taught this formula in school. Now divided by 100% minus 20% is 80%. Percent. So this will be 560 divided by 80 by 100. This will become 560 into 100 by 80. Cancel. I can cancel a 0 here and a 0 here. Now I can say 8 sevens are 56, 8 into 70. Now multiply this. 70 into 10. 7 ones are 7, add the two zeros. So we have found the marked price and the marked price is 700 rupees. We have found this directly. Question 10. An article is bought for 1200 rupees and 100 rupees is spent on its transportation, etc. Find two answers. First, the total cost price of the article. So it's bought for so much but some, some more money is spent on it. So we have to find the total cost price and then we also have to find the selling price if there is to be a gain of 20%. So let's begin by saying cost price of an article is given. Amount spent on transportation is also given. Now the total cost price will be cost price plus the amount spent on transportation to get the total cost price. 
So cost price is 1,200 rupees and the amount spent on transportation is 100 rupees. So the total cost price is simply by adding these two, you will get 1,300. So the total cost price is 1,300 rupees. So we have found the first answer, the total cost price. Now, we have to find the selling price if there is to be a gain of 20%. So the gain percent is given to us, which is 20%. To find the selling price, we have to use this formula cost price into 100 plus gain percent divided by 100. So cost price is what we just found out, which is 1300 into 100. Now we have to simplify this. 100 plus gain percent is 20 percent divided by 100. So this will be 1300 into 100 plus 20 is 120 divided by 100. So here let's cancel. I can cancel one zero here and one zero. One more zero I can cancel. Now I have to simply multiply 130 into 12. So when you multiply 130 into 12, you will get 1560, which is the selling price of the article. So what did we find? We found the answer to the second question. The selling price of the article is 1560 rupees. So this is the answer to the second part. So children, we will stop with this for now. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.